wholeness and balance vibrations family i trust you're well vibing and resonance at top speeds all right today we jumping back into this crypto thing new way of life getting into it the greatest exchange of currency is happening right now so right now we're going to jump into uh this particular coin called bazant uh it's tag or ticket note um acronym is bznt it's a korean currency so you see the KRW there for their particular currency, Yuan, South Korean. All right, how did I get to BZNT Bazant? All right, so I was dialing into the understanding page on YouTube. And Brother Savan Bomar mentioned uh, a video, a playlist that he made that uh, seemed very interesting and be a good, um, a good check out to expand the knowledge on, on religion. And it's called The Origin of Religion. That's the playlist. And within this playlist is three videos with Dr. George Giorgiani. And he dials into the historical factors that using his psychological adeptness, he's a psychiatrist, and his social skills to dial into the true happenings. And it's like a, a, a puzzle he put together. And by using factual information so it's very very interesting but in it he mentioned the byzantine empire and one of many so i was like no, i bought some bazant and i just kind of went with that so that's how i got to this particular point and that that's the you know nothing happens by happenstance so i dialed into it so follow me down the, the crypto rabbit hole from uh dr george ajani so this is not financial advice i probably said it a couple times but uh Let's dive in. Hold it. All right, so right now, I'm going to start off with uh, trying to identify the patterns of where the intersections are between the moving averages. Um, we got four moving averages. This is the boss method using a um, moving average of 231, 21, 7, and 77. Each one of them have their own color code that uh, allows us to see now, which is which. And you no, know, the rule is, you know, it's above, if the white is above the blue, you know what to do. You know, BK, BK special. <laughs> so again, right, we highlighted um, everywhere with a definite crossing of all three, and all three or all four, you no know, meeting, or typically three. And uh, the white is indicated by the two thirty one is indicated by this the area here, the gray area. And you can change that within the settings. So right now we got the meeting here, here, and here. And this is all to find the pattern. You want to find a pattern. So again, remember if it happened before, it can happen again. So the past predicates the future. So find the pattern. Find the presence. Go forward in the present with the past in mind. And say you um, don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been. And uh, even deeper. You say where if you forget your you where you're going, if you forget your ancestors, you are lost. One of the proverbs. Because you then this is the, this is the loss of connection within the memories. The passing down what has happened in the timeline, within the genome, in the family, and uh they allow you to skip over certain potholes or uh, move forward more smoothly. So again, we're diving in, fine, trying to get as precise as we can. You know, everything is tentative. This is not financial advice. This is just me um, trying to get a little more provision in reading the charts. Because if, we, again, you're going to be investing in, in cryptocurrency, you want to get a little more wherewithal with about how it's operating, how to look at the numbers. The numbers don't lie. <laughs> numbers are numb to the emotions. And that's what you got to remember when you're going through a lot of the crypto, uh, the crypto verse. Don't worry about the the emotions. Cannot get tied up within the ups and downs of the volatile market. So right now, I'm whooping out um, a cyclic lines. Cyclic, no, it's a cognitive uh, cycle. So find trying to identify different cycles within the time frame that allow us to kind of predict what's going to happen in the future. And you kind of try to, you got to kind of eyeball it a lot of times. Because again, you're, this is real data from buys and sells within the market. Mm -hmm. All 
All right, so with our um, with our shapes here, I'm just going to clone one of these, and uh, you want to click it. I think this is the uh, ellipse tool. You want to click it, clone it, and drag it. Uh, you want to click it where where the perimeter is, not the the dots there. You want to click it on the perimeter and drag and hold is there. Remember, I'm, I'm using right now trading view trading view um, has free accounts and they also have pro accounts I have a pro right now um, and one of the benefits is just being able to add um, a wide variety of uh, alerts plus additional moving averages I think they're the subject to like maybe two or three but there is a DK method already program somebody awesome um, created one a default one template one within the search so if you search there you can find them in you can search ultimate BK uh, boss method within the the searching tool when you're looking for um, moving averages the indicators all right so we got the the blue lines which are the cyclic lines and we've identified kind of roughly where or where did they where they touch and we're almost on the money with every time we see the cyclic lines aligned they touched uh, the three touch the red white and blue I said they um, 21 7 and the 77 and looking like right around uh, December is that December or oh, November November 15th I believe um, it gives us a, a time so looking like around November 15th November 15th they should be they should meet again so that it tell us it's going to be you know, up or down right now I'm gonna set an alert for uh, crossing up. So if it crosses up, I'll get an alert indicating that it's moved past this particular alert that I set, and then I'll come back and look at it again and determine if it it is looking like it's going to go up or down. So there are other techniques you can do that will can, can give us a more um, precise idea of where the market is going see every every chart every every movement in the chart uh, BK teaches um, that it's, it's cycles so it's ups downs flat line or down flat line up so right now we're gonna highlight the up down and flat line that's the cycle so we got um, every one we have that so again we have a down that's called this possibly right here it looks like a flat line it's going flat across so the next one is probably going to be up I mean that's no that's the next pattern so that's that's what it does <laughs> so it's not really uh, a guessing if it's going to up going to go up uh, it's typically you know, spot on because these are the natural cycles of the energy within the charts I'm going to mark this so it's again it's more clear one two three so every every cycle has three parts typically every cycle has three parts and there's you no know, cycles within cycles but we kind of pull them back and seeing uh, slightly more macro uh, cycles other than some of the smaller ones as you see inside the chart that is going up and down so again we got another one going down next one flat line two and the third one will be going up so that that time of the of going up where it has yet to you know appear but uh as we dial in more you know between now and then we'll uh determine that so maybe this uh the next time we see the next uh, with a link between November 15th will give us a good a greater indicator of when that next uh, upward trend will happen again all right we're gonna grab a quick uh, another tool called the Fibonacci retracement tool and uh, this gives us another indicator of of the movements within the charts and uh, this one here Again, all the specs you know uh, I got from uh, Brother BK in some of his videos where he highlights um, color 
notation um, and metrics. So I'm gonna flip this to the reversal because again, yeah, it's, it's no, it's n <laughs> I'm assuming that it's not gonna get hit the floor. Like I'm assuming that it's not gonna get no lower. When is that? Where is that right now? So uh, we're gonna make that the floor. This the bottom right here. And uh, typically um, we say right here in, in the green zone. We call it the money zone. It was actually uh, pretty fluid typically within that space. Um, but we see definitely hasn't hit there yet and it won't hit there for, you know, a couple cycles, maybe one or two. And um, we'll also see here, I'm going to put, see if any uh, validity with this first green line here. And then see if there's any supporting, um, supporting uh, backup necessarily for this one. For when it hits that green line. Uh, yeah, so look like the only backup or energy that is um, in support of that the node of energy is that that one that's coming right there on the green line where they connected prior. So again, that is um, some supporting energy that will again give it juice or or give it a little friction uh, in this uh, forward progression through the charts. All right, so right now we have the indicator where it has where they potentially may meet right here on that cyclic line the last one uh, where it's going flat at on the flat line and this is but a prediction you know that is uh, based on uh, preconceived energy points or spikes within the energy timeline previously that gave us this particular point so put a little indicator here and we'll say um, uh, let's see what, what are we gonna grab. Uh, say we can grab. Um, let's see the eye because we could be watching it. So boom. All right. So now we have an indicator right here. We're gonna label this as um, breakout watch. And uh, so we're gonna check out. So today is uh, the eleventh. The 11th of uh, November, and hey, it's uh, I think a full moon tomorrow, I believe, and so we're gonna check this out, see what the predictions be like, see what uh, me using the BK method, see if I was able to pull some jewels and you know predict some of the movements in the market to secure some of the assets that are flowing and maybe help somebody else grab a little cash as well and uh, learn a little bit. So that's all we got for today. This is Bazant. This is a South Korean or Bazant versus a South Korean won, indicating um, how it's flowing in the market. So this is also remember this is a trading view that I'm using. This is not financial advice. This is me just uh, exploring the charts, the crypto verse, and you can do the same. Also, if you want to support what's going on within the One Tribe family, check out some of the links down below. We have an assortment of metaphysical adornments, i.e. crystal bracelets, crystal pendants, organ devices, raw crystals, uh, holistic health products within our secret energy shop. You want to check it out, all the links down below. And if you haven't checked out the world's first conscious social media network yet, the link will be down below. Down below. When you get in, friend your brother, make me a part of your tribe, because we all one tribe. Keep vibing the resonance at top speeds. If you appreciate this message, subscribe, like down below, and even check out our Etsy shop. Until next time, top speed. Wholeness and balanced vibrations. I honor you and your manifestations with wholeness and balanced Vibration coming to you through the frequency mm, vibration harmonic synchronicity Ooh, vibration through your receptors you feel mm, the beats vibration. vibrations of harmony mm. wholeness <laughs> one single tribe